Hey everyone, it's Sky here and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new. Today we're going to be doing part two of our Christmas color along for December. So if you haven't watched part one already, I highly recommend you go back and check that out. We've been working in A Whimsy Girl's Christmas by Hannah Lynn and the page we've been working on is Snow Day. So we've got this little section at the top done. I'll show you guys the stickles now that it's dried. I find that they're always more sparkly once dried. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up, but they are pretty sparkly. So as always, I'm going to have a couple pieces of paper in behind this page to protect the other pages. Even though we're not working with markers, I like to do that because if we're burnishing and pressing hard, we can actually um, wreck the tooth on the next page, which will make it harder um, later on when we go to color that page. So I always like to have paper in behind what I'm working on, regardless of what materials I'm using. So I think today... I kind of want to tackle the these two big trees and see how long those take and kind of go from there. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. And we decided to make these trees darker and then these trees are lighter. I think I do want to stick with the same colors. I'm hoping that that works okay, but I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to zoom in, not a whole lot, but a little bit. Hi. What are you whining about? And then just so I know where the camera cuts off, let's see, we're going to kind of color map here. So I'm just gonna lay down some rough color here. As long as I don't move my page, we should be able to color from here to here. So we'll start with that. You, miss, are on my chair. Can I help you? What do you know? Hi. Did you say hi? Yeah? Oh, really? How was your day? Oh, okay. Let me clean up your eye a little bit. I think one of the other cats got her in the eye. She's been... I've been running a little bit. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, baby. Okay, okay. Well, I can't get it out if you keep moving. Ugh. I don't know why, but eye boogers are just a no for me. <laughs> Not a fan. Is that better, though? Is that better? Better for you? Not good for me. My stomach feels yucky now. <laughs> Oh, you can't sit in my chair. I'm sorry. You can sit on my lap. Okay, we're going to attempt to color with her on my lap for now. I want to tackle this tree first just because it's kind of like in the crevice here. So it'll be a little bit easier to color. So I'm just going to just lightly base the rest of everything else. Well, thank you for the kisses. So sweet. Yes, you are. She loves having her head kissed. She'll like nuzzle her head right up against your mouth until you give her kisses, and it's so cute. 
Okay, so I think my plan for making these ones appear darker is to just use more of the darker colors. So we're going to try and do that. I'm going to start with the sepia and I'm, oh, Lilo. You're going to, you're going to color block me, aren't you? can't lay there. We didn't get very far, did we? Hi, baby. She's getting a little bit chunky. <laughs> she definitely needs a diet, don't you? Yeah. Don't knock things over with your tail. Okay, you're just destroying everything. <laughs> All right, you. Okay, definitely seems a bit out of focus here. That's better, okay. She's kind of settled in her chair, so we'll see how long that lasts. And she's got hair everywhere. Okay, so just starting with the sepia, kind of underneath all of these ridges. So I definitely don't want to burnish with the sepia because I still want to get that nice green color in there, but I'm just going to bring it down farther and I'm going to layer it up a little bit to build up the color. I'm going to keep building up that color until I'm happy with how dark it is. I think this looks okay. So then we're going to go in with our next color, which is the peacock green.
I'm going to come in pretty dark with this one and then I'm just going to fade it out a little bit. Basically my plan is to either eliminate or um, reduce the amount of spring green that we're using because I think that will help make these look darker, which is what we're trying to achieve here. So the parrot green will either be our highlight or it will be our highlight kind of burnished with the spring green. I haven't quite decided yet. I want to see what this looks like and then we'll make a decision based off of that. You hear her in the background grunting like i said she has put on a fair bit of weight i definitely spoil them a little bit too much and they're very lazy because they're indoor cats her and stitch do not go outside at all unless they escape um, miko is the only one we let in and out just because she struggles with um, uti issues and gets stressed out easily so letting her outside even though it stresses me out, is easier on her. She's more calm that way. So she's the only one we let outside. So she's just a little skinny mini thing and the other two are chunky monkeys. And Lilo is over here grunting as she tries to reach her toes to clean them. <laughs> a good sign that she definitely needs a diet. <laughs> she's so cute though. All right, so these are already looking darker in comparison to these ones, so that's good. Just one second, my boss messaged me. I think I left my keys at work, so. Yeah, comma, they're on a black lanyard with a little keychain that says goddess on it. have uh, keys on there. They're my work keys, so I have keys on there to the cigarette cabinet and stuff that not everybody is allowed to get into, so I was asking her to look for them and see if uh, she can tuck them away for me. I've never actually left them there, but Kind of left in a rush today, so I realized when I got home that I didn't have them. I wanted to get home as quick as possible so that way I could film because I only have as much daylight. All right, I only have a limited amount of daylight, so. I want to try and film as much as I can while we have good lighting because I really don't like using my ring light because I feel like it washes everything out. But at the same time, I feel like this camera is not the best for filming anyways. It always makes everything look super grainy and the colors always look off and I am not very tech savvy. I'm sure there is a way to like change the settings so that way they kind of match the colors on the page, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, I really like how this is looking so far. It's pretty amazing when you think that we've used these exact same colors, but it looks so different. Okay. Parrot green is up next. I'm just gonna sharpen this one. I'm just gonna go in lightly for now because I kind of want to see what it's gonna look like. I think we do need a little bit of the lime peel in here. Otherwise, it's going to look... Um, it's gonna look too different from these trees, maybe. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the parrot green to kind of burnish um, the darker areas. And then I'm just going to run a small amount over these um, areas we've left for highlights. But we are going to go ahead and burnish everything with the lime peel to kind of hopefully pull the two trees together. I don't mind if they look a little bit different. It wouldn't be the worst thing, but I do want them to look a little bit similar if we can swing it that way. Oops, I'm trying not to color on the snow. <laughs> I'm just going to put this out there and hope that it happens, but it's going to depend on how busy December is. It's always a gong show, but if I can get a couple of days in there, I would love to do just a couple live streams. I always say that I'd like to do like one or two live streams a month would be awesome. Um, I would leave the option up to you guys. And if I, if I can get back into doing live streams, even just one or two a month, I would probably have a poll up to see if you guys would rather just do like color and chat style live streams or um, if you would actually want to like try tackling pages because we could, but with only doing one or two live streams a month, <laughs> we're not finishing a page anytime soon. So I'd probably leave that up to you guys, but I think it would be fun. And I definitely, as much as I like making videos like this, I definitely miss the live audience and being able to like answer questions and like interact with you guys. And it's just so much more fun. Okay, spring green, we're gonna go through and just burnish everything. If not December, then I would like to start doing that um, starting next year, I would like to try and do that, um, especially for the channel members, because I think it'd be fun. One of the main things about being a channel member is they get these little emojis beside their names. Um, the emoji for the channel is the moon, um, and it changes depending on how long they've been channel members for. So it'd be fun for them to be able to show that off in the live chat. And they also have custom emotes that I don't think they can use normally. Um, maybe they can, I don't know. I'll have to look into that, but I think they can only use it in live chats. So, or live streams. So I, I want to try and get a couple of months just so they can use their emojis and stuff. Take full advantage of the perks. All right, this tree is looking pretty awesome. We're still in frame. Perfect. Okay, I do want to dig out the colors for the snow, actually. I should have done this before, but I forgot. So lilac, lavender, hot pink, light aqua, spring green we already have, and white. Just kind of want to tackle everything as we go. So swatches, lilac, lavender, hot pink. Uh, we already have spring green. Light aqua. And wait, okay. So let's go through with these and we're just going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to start with the light aqua. We're just doing really, really light colors. Just the smallest of pressure on the page. And I'm just randomly placing it. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm not overthinking it or anything. We'll leave that one for when we do the bottom. So that's good for the lilac, I think. The lavender is pretty similar, so we don't need to add a whole lot more to the page, but we'll add a little bit because it's a softer color. Oh no, it broke. Darn it. How dare you? Maybe 
it's my pencil sharpener. It sounds like it's eating this pencil. It's not good. And it broke again. Okay, let's try a different pencil sharpener. That one is like an eye makeup pencil sharpener, so it makes a really small point to it. But I mean, as long as it's not breaking and I can use it, that's all that matters. So again, I'm just gonna randomly throw this in here. Not a whole lot of it. Okay, hot pink is next. And also don't worry about overlapping the colors together. That'll kind of create unique colors and that's totally fine. A little bit with the light aqua. And then the spring green. Um, since we're using the spring green for the trees, definitely make sure yours is cleaned off first. So otherwise you'll get a little bit of a darker green than you want. Now this one I like having in here, but I don't really mix it too much with the other colors just cause it'll kind of like muddy and yellow them up. Um, definitely mix it with the blue, but the purples and the pink, probably not a good idea. I will slightly, but mm, not a whole lot. All right, once you're happy with what you've come up with, you can go ahead and use the white to burnish and blend everything together. I don't want the colors to blend too much, so I go in with a super firm pressure and just start going to town on it. If you gradually um, work up your pressure, you can blend the colors a lot more and you will get a really neat look doing it that way as well, but um, I like to have the colors kind of stand alone a bit more and look less blended. Whoops, peekaboo. I gotta kind of color at an angle with this white because it doesn't fit in the pencil extender very well. I can't tighten it anymore, so it kind of, if I go too straight on, it just kind of shoots back in there. Super pretty, I love that. Okay, now that we've got that done, I wanna just come back up to these trees. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Looks like we've gone a little bit blurry again. Hopefully it stops doing that. pen just in case this doesn't work but what I want to do is I want to bring my uniball signal and I'm just going to outline these ones I'm not going to bother to do that until after we put the stickles on because um, 
the stickles will probably just erase it anyways. So for these ones, I'm not going to go in on top against the branches. I'm just going to go where the snow is kind of sitting on top of them, if that makes sense. And then we've also got these little, it's a couple of little dots here, snowflakes that we can color in. There we go. And that just softens up the snow even more. This one doesn't want to work as well though. Come on. There we go. if it's blurry again or not okay I stopped that recording and started a new one I'm thinking Miss Lilo glitched the camera out um, so hopefully it'll be okay now I'll try and keep an eye on it so that way I can see but so we're at about half an hour we have another hour we can do I only have about 20 minutes though so I gotta go pick up my little guy Just gonna pull up a reference photo. I think the tree comes to down here, but I just want to double check. Hmm. Looks like some people actually have the tree coming all the way down, which I kind of like because then, I mean, it doesn't really make sense to me because the tree is always like wider at the bottom, so technically it should come down around here too. But I like having it green here because then the snowballs really stand out. So. That's probably a good idea. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So we're gonna come in with the spring green. Doing a light layer all around. Um, this looks like tree branch. Don't know whether we want to make that snow or not. Let's make it snow. Why not? It can be a snowy branch. I don't know what this is. Looks like I got something on there or something. Oh, maybe Lilo did. I'm just going to erase whatever that is off. I think this should technically be snow as well. Okay. Let's go in with our sepia. 
and we're just going to repeat the same steps. I'm going to work a little bit quicker now because the more I can cram it apart, um, the more time we can spend on other things. Now that I know what I'm doing with this, though, I can speed it up a little bit. I like to work slower when I'm unsure. I think getting these two big trees done though will be enough for part two. I don't know about that bush at the bottom there. Assuming it is a bush, I don't think it's a tree. So maybe it should be a different color. I'm thinking kind of like more of a like a lime greeny color or not so much lime green but like a, a really earthy yellow green puke green for lack of a better visual <laughs> it's kind of the color I'm thinking that's no I think I want this bottom part to be fairly dark, so I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow down here as well. Um, and then actually let's add some shadow just in here randomly too, because otherwise I think it's going to look kind of funny. And underneath the glove. I don't know why, I just feel like we need it there. Okay. Okay, so peacock green is next. It's so real firm pressure with this one. We want a fair bit of this.
Just checking to see if it's blurring at all. It looks okay. Next up is parrot green. So just remember that we are going to just leave a light amount of the parrot green in the highlight areas. Just so the spring green can kind of shine through a little bit. These last two rows, I'm not leaving much for highlight. Um, this one because there's not really much room, so I feel like that's just going to be a darker kind of bow or branch or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then down here, just because I want down here darker. But we're still going to go in and burnish everything with the spring green. Which is our next step. I don't know where the oops. But he just kind of fell <laughs> from somewhere. Alright, you oh, don't fall over. There we go. He can just hang out in the art room. fast. I don't know where he went.
All right, that looks good. Oops. All right, let's go in and do our snow. Forget these ones. Let's see. I think I think this is snow back here and then here. Okay, a little bit of lavender. Okay, next we're going to go in with the hot pink. Light aqua. And spring green. Oh, make sure yours is clean. I did not. I'm gonna have a smudge. If that happens, though, it's an easy fix. I'll just make a snowflake there. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna go in with our white and burnish all of it. All right, there's one tree done. So I'm going to have to pause and go get my little guy and I will be back shortly. Well, for you, it'll be instantaneously. All right, so I am actually back a day later than I intended to, um, maybe even two days later. I can't remember when I was filming part two. I also, I'm just going to apologize for the noise in the background. I'm hoping that my mic doesn't pick up a lot of it and that it will focus on my voice. However, I'm also going to leave myself a note to um, reduce background noise out of the video to hopefully tone that down. But I am desperately running out of time to film, so I we just have to put up with it until he's done. So I can't remember what day it was I was recording. I ended up getting sick. Um, I don't know if I've ever talked about it on the channel, but I suffer from IBS, so when it flares up, it's bad. I'm stuck in the bathroom forever, and I'll spare you from the gross details. We'll just leave it at that. 
But then for like a couple of days after that, I just feel completely drained of energy and just not myself. Um, I've been drinking this stuff called Good Protein that's supposed to help with like digestive health. And so far it seems to be really working. It's been about like a month and a half uh, without having a flare up. That was my first one since starting drinking this stuff. So I think this stuff is helping kind of be proactive and prevent it, but I don't think anything will completely prevent it. So I think flare ups will still happen. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys <laughs> know that. Why? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, mostly just because I feel like you guys deserve to know why this color alone might be out late. Um, and that way you guys can kind of understand a little bit more on my part. There's not really much I can do. Those flare-ups happen literally at the worst times possible. I've actually been pretty lucky and most of my flare-ups when they happen, I'm usually at home, which you can be like a lot more comfortable in your own home. I've had one flare-up happen at work and that was just awkward because we only have one bathroom at work and my coworker actually wasn't feeling good either. So we're just like fighting over the bathroom. It was awkward as hell. Um, but I tend to stay close to home and I don't travel a whole lot because of this because if you're stuck in an awkward position where you're not around a bathroom or you're like stuck in a public bathroom for hours that just is not fun. So with that being said we are going to dive back into here. We finished the tree on this side so now we're going to finish this tree. I don't quite know how long it's going to take but um, we'll get this tree finished and then that will be the end of part two. And that's a big chunk of the picture, so I'm actually really excited for that. Um, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be posted a little bit later, but hopefully it won't be by a whole lot. So I'm just going to take a sip of coffee here and we'll get going. Okay, um... Just watch my looking. I'm looking for my spring green. Okay, so roughly in around here is where we can see up to. I'm just gonna keep my finger here. Um, I imagine this is probably snow, but I'm actually just gonna color this as tree. lightly color block everything that's going to be tree. So this part I actually want as snow I think. So I'm just going to kind of have like the tree part come up to here. See some of these are weird because this looks like snow and then this also looks like snow. So is it snow on snow? I have no idea. I wasn't quite thinking. I put my phone on the charger, so I don't even have anything to reference to. I might have to just quickly stop and look something up here. Let's color this top part. I do, I am curious about like these three ones, like what exactly we're coloring those as. Give me one sec here. Okay, I think since these look so much like snow, I need to do them as snow. This one though could be tree branch. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It might seem kind of funny to have like three different pieces of snow like that. You know, uh, I'm gonna do this one as tree branch, just because this one looks like tree branch to me. Hopefully it looks okay, I have no idea. It's gonna be sparkly, so <laughs> the sparkle is gonna take uh, take your eye on a trip anyways, so hopefully any mistakes or like weird looking parts won't actually be super noticeable. Um, I still have a couple pieces of paper in behind this page, and we're gonna jump on in with our sepia. I want this piece to be a little bit darker because it's kind of like tucked further back in the tree. Here, I want this spot a little bit darker. It's 
don't think I recorded last night. I didn't. It's still kind of recuperating. So it must have been, it was Monday that I was recording. No. Yeah, no. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Started recording on Monday with the intentions of coming back home and finishing recording, but when I got home from picking up Little Man, I started not feeling great. And then the rest of that night was just a write-off, and then yesterday was just low energy, not feeling the greatest. Today I feel a lot better. So I literally have today to record as much as possible, and technically I'm supposed to have um, a video going up Friday of this. I don't exactly know how I'm scheduling this out yet. It would most likely be part one and the speed color is supposed to go up Friday. Um, that's not going to happen, I don't think. Today currently is Wednesday, the 23rd. So I'm supposed to have video up for channel members on Friday. Uh, November 25th, but I don't think I'm going to get it done in time. I'm, I'm kind of wishing that I hadn't planned Christmas shopping tomorrow. I'm going to the city with my mom and my grandma um, to do some Christmas shopping. It would really be nice to have tomorrow to record because if I had both today and tomorrow, then I know for sure I could get it done. I could probably get all the recording done Actually, probably not, because even then, my camera can only record a few hours of footage before it needs to be charged, so either way, I'm kind of hooped. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it last minute to see, just in case like a miracle happens and I can get something up. We'll see, but I think I will probably just give channel members... Um, They'll still get their video early it won't just be it just won't be a full week but i'll also give them the second week's video early as well so they'll get two super early This has just not been my month. I was like so excited when October was over. I love October, it's an awesome month, but it's so busy because I've got Inktober that I love participating in. Um, definitely took on a lot to chew with those two color alongs because I was, even though I had them all filmed before October, um, I didn't have them all completely edited and uploaded and stuff. So that literally took a lot of October to get that done as well, so. And then we have like tons of birthdays in October. My birthday's in October, Rain's birthday, his nephew's birthday, his uncle's birthday. So just tons of those, lots of stuff going on. Just gonna keep darkening up some of these areas. We want these trees to be a bit darker. So it's like after October, November is gonna be a piece of cake and it's literally like November's almost done and I don't know how because literally yesterday was the first. That is, that is how I feel. Now I'm looking forward to December. <laughs> um, which will still be a chaotic month for sure, but I do feel like December somewhat usually will slow down a little bit, or at least feels kind of slow. Um, I won't have as much going on for the channel because we won't have a color along going for January. So this is actually the last color along for this year, and then we won't have another one till February. I do want to get some smaller videos recorded, but those won't be a whole lot. Uh, recording the color alongs takes a lot of time and um, that's the word I'm looking for. Like when you're plan time and planning, I guess, planning it out. Yeah, it's not the word I'm looking for, but it's the meaning. It's what I'm meaning to say. I do really apologize for the vacuuming. 
it was bad timing. I literally just started filming and he, well, just started getting set up to film and then he started vacuuming and I'm like, oh, crackers. Um, but I don't want to wait, so, and I'm also not going to ask him not to vacuum because he'd get grumpy. And really, what, what woman would stop her husband from vacuuming? Honestly, I'd be crazy if I did. Oops. I think I'm happy with the amount of sepia here. Hopefully. I don't really know, to be honest. But so let's go in with our peacock green next. I'm gonna bring it out a fair bit on this branch. I'm gonna leave like a little highlight for the little for the tip of this here. That'll be with the parrot green. And we'll still go through and burnish with the spring green, but it's also a few things that I want to work on audio-wise. I've noticed that I will start talking speaking strongly in a sentence, and then I'll slowly start getting quieter and like trail off, and it'll be quiet, and I don't like that. <laughs> when I'm listening back, I'm like, oh, I can hardly hear myself. Sometimes I'm really loud, other times I'm really quiet. I think it's just like a bad habit. I'm like in the zone, so I'm just like trailing off, but like getting quieter. Um, but I don't like how that sounds, so I definitely want to be a little bit more mindful of that. Maybe just like make myself like a little card to stand up by my mic that says speak up. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna create, actually, let's let's come back in with the sepia because I don't wanna like have this fading into the snow. It's gonna look weird. So I wanna create kind of like a line here with the sepia. We're gonna make this just a dark spot. This is where our snow starts. It's probably not even meant to be snow, but I'm coloring it as snow. So we're gonna separate the tree from the snow. So that will just make life a little bit easier. Um, so like I said, I do plan on recording as much as I can today. I know I will be able to finish part one. I might even be able to get part three done. Um, part four is pushing it. Part five is not going to happen today. I don't think, I think that's just too much. We'll see though. Um, so since I'm going to be back to back recording, we're not going to be putting stickles on the snow in this part. Well, I won't be, but you guys totally can because the next part won't be out for like another week unless you're channel members. And then you'll probably get part two as well um, to make up for part one, most likely being late. I'm pretty confident that that's how it's gonna happen. So if you're a channel member, I would save your stickles if you plan on doing the next part right away. However, if you're gonna leave it for like a night, you can put your stickles on because they'll be dry by the next day. Um, and then, yeah, if you are not a channel member, you could definitely stickle up your snow because the next video won't be out for like another week or so, assuming you're watching this on the day it comes out. I forgot about this part. We got to darken that up. That's got to be dark. That's part of why I really wanted to finish part two on Monday when I started recording it because then I could have stickled up the snow and it would have been nice and sparkly and ready to go for part three, part two, part three. This is part three. Oh my God, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I either need to go to bed or I need more coffee. Maybe both. Okay, so now knowing that this is part two, I think I said that, I'm just confused anyways. If I said it wrong, then just ignore me. <laughs> just ignore me altogether, because I'm confusing myself today. Okay, I want this spot to be a little bit darker too, so I'm going to put the peacock green in here. trying to think of how I said that. So this is part two. Ch 
channel members will have part one and part two early, assumingly. So actually they can they can put their stickles down too. Okay, everybody can put their stickles down, except for me. <laughs> That makes it easier anyways. I think this area too, I'm just gonna for the most part color this in. I'm not gonna burnish it by any means, but it's gonna be pretty dark, so I'm not gonna worry about leaving a highlight for anything else. this is dark enough. I'm dropping everything. I feel like it doesn't necessarily have to be as dark as this one here. In fact, I think it'd be kind of nice if it wasn't because it looks like this one's closer to us and this one's kind of like pushed further back. It's kind of in between these back trees and this front tree here. At least that's how I view it. So it's fine if it's a little bit lighter. Um, if, it, if we could get it kind of like in between these, that'd be cool. But I'm just going to color without overthinking it, I think. So same as before, we're going to add this into the shadows and then we're also just going to bring it out a little bit and just layer down a little bit of color in the highlights, but we're not going to burnish it or anything. Now I'm just trying to debate what I should color in part three. I think I was originally wanting to finish up the snow, like do the snowman and the snow, get that stuff out of the way. Um, I probably still could actually. I would just have to use my blow dryer to uh, dry it before starting part four, assuming that I'd be able to today. if we did that for part three that would literally just leave pretty much just her actually <laughs> maybe we don't even need five parts now we probably will because I'm trying to take my time on this so but the snow will go relatively fast because I am going to use my neo color twos for the for the big snow drifts, I'm not sure about the snowman yet. I'm kind of debating that. I think maybe the snowman should be with the Prisma colors as well. Because even though we can get like a similar snow effect um, as the Neos with the Prismas, it's still going to be slightly different. And I think it's going to be a little bit noticeable too. Like the colors will be different and kind of like the texture almost will be different as well. So my worry is we've got like all of the snow around the snowman and like kind of like in behind in these places here. I don't want the snowman to kind of blend into that. 
So out of like all of the snowy elements, I'll definitely be doing the snowman last because that'll be kind of like a split decision based on how everything else looks. But that's kind of my line of thinking for now. I'm also not sure about like clothing colors. I would like to do... I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of torn between three different colors for like her and that would be kind of like a brownish tan color or pink or blue. Which even gray might look neat, like a mix, like maybe gray uh, snow pants and like a blue top. I'm, just, I'm not too sure with clothing for her. I only know the big details so far and then the little ones are always overwhelming. So I kind of block those out for a while. <laughs> before I'm ready to actually tackle them. But I mean, they usually always turn out pretty good, so I probably shouldn't be too, probably shouldn't get too overwhelmed. Okay, I think this is looking good. Let's go back in with our spring green and we will start burnishing everything and blending it all together. Perfect. I'm going to sharpen up my spring green and just make sure it's clean because we'll be using it for the snow. And the snow is going to be our next, um, next spot to tackle. So, oops. So I should probably put that on. I put it beside the book, but I should probably put it on the page so you guys can see. Start off with our lilac. I think for these ones, I'm just going to put the lilac in kind of like all 
on one side to kind of uh, separate the two bits of snow there. And then everywhere else, we'll just do it randomly. I feel like the lilac is kind of like one of the darker of the colors. So I do like to have a fair bit of that in here. Okay, next up we have lavender. Next is our hot pink. Oh, <laughs> I keep doing that. Swatches are only helpful if you guys can see them. I keep reminding myself that. Again, don't be afraid to mix the colors a little bit. Okay, next is light aqua, and then after that, we just have our spring green. Green again, make sure yours is nice and clean. I'm just going to touch little bits of this in here. swatch on the floor. Okay, next is white. I'm going to come in here with a real firm pressure and just start burnishing these.
be anxious for Carbon to get home from school today. Um, he's got his first test. Um, it's about rocks. So they're studying igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. So uh, we've been spending the last probably just under a week studying. And I quizzed him one last time this morning, and it was the best he'd done the whole time. He was just rapid-firing answers at me. Some of them he's still a little bit unsure about, but he kind of comes around to it. So I'm hoping it's multiple choice, and the answers will kind of stick out to him, because as long as they're there in front of him, he'll be able to know which one's right. Um, he struggles, though, if he's just thinking about it off the top of his head without having any kind of, like, hint or visual guide. I'm hoping that they also like grade them today so we know what his marks were and don't have to wait, but I think he's going to do so awesome. He was so proud of himself this morning when he got almost all the answers right. So that'll be pretty fun. Tree ends here. All right, we have the rest of the tree in frame. So same as before, we're going to take the spring green and we are going to block out our snow. We're going to make this tree. So this will be snow and it will just imagine that it kind of like ends here. We just can't see the line for it. Let's have this come down. We're going to kind of close this off. This is going to be snow here, and this is going to be snow here, I think. Oh, okay, I'm thinking this is like, so this is part of the scarf, so ignore that. Okay. Let's shovel. And then I imagine this would be a layer of snow. However, it seems kind of weird having the tree end with snow. I actually don't know how I feel about that. Let me reference pictures. A lot of people didn't really put snow past here. Some people did this part as tree too. I don't know. I, I don't like the thought of this ending in snow, though, so this is going to be tree. Hopefully it turns out okay, but that's just what I'm thinking. Okay, let's start with our sepia. Remember when you're darkening it up, you don't want it to be burnished or anything. You just want to add up those layers, build or build up those layers.
So I'm sure Hannah's newest, newest book, the one that she's working on right now, um, Fierce and Fanciful Faces, I think is the working title of it. Working title basically means that it's not set. Um, the title might still change, but hopefully by the time this is out, she'll have it out already, or at least the PDF. I'm so excited. I think it will easily be my favorite Hannah Lynn book. Um, and a lot of times when people ask me what my favorite Hannah Lynn book is, I have a hard time deciding. Enchanted Faces has definitely always been up there for me because the images are just so whimsical and beautiful. And I have the pocket-sized version of it. So I really adore pocket-sized books. I actually did go ahead and buy the Sweet and Simple again. Um, but I got that one in pocket-sized version, which when we when that one first came out, I don't think Hannah was offering it in pocket size. I think it was only available in the full version. Pretty sure. Um, but Hannah did send me the sweet and simple. So it's possible that it was in pocket size version. And then I just didn't get it because she had already sent me the full size version of it. Not quite sure. But either way, I added the pocket size version to my stash because I just, I needed it. And then this new book will be available in both pocket-sized and um, full-size version. So pocket-size all the way. However, with, I might even get both for that one because with the pages being so, um, I don't want to say simple because they're not so much simple, but they're not as busy. Like they're still absolutely gorgeous pages. There's still lots of detail, but there's no backgrounds or little to no background. And they mostly just focus on the girls and, you know, the few elements that are on the page. So I feel like even getting the full size version of that would not be overwhelming at all. Oh my gosh, I keep coloring that. No sky. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Cover that up. <laughs> Okay, um, for this, I'm gonna do this one kind of weirdly. So the bottom is gonna be a little bit darker. And then we're gonna do the bottoms of these and have the top lighter. Oh, I'm, I got distracted. Um, back to the new book. I'm hoping, well, I'm thinking anyways that Maybe our first color along in next year might be from that book. So I will probably have that as a um, channel members vote color along. I got to figure out what months. I still have to go through and make my bullet journal for next year. Um, I've started halfway through the year this year. I started kind of pre-planning the color alongs. And then um, I'll do the same for next year and I'll have set months where I'm thinking that uh, channel members can vote because I think I need, I think the perk says three to five per year. I'm hoping to have at least like four or five. Three seems a little bit low, especially for being a channel member for the whole year. I think it's because it's cloud that that's the only perk cloud gets aside from emojis and um, membership badges. So I want to have a decent amount of those for those guys. And then Moon gets the membership votes and um, photo updates. And then Rainbow gets all of that plus early access to videos. So I want to have at least five um, member vote color alongs throughout the year. So maybe uh, February's color along will be one of those, most likely from the new book, because. It's going to be hard for me to keep my hands off of that. <laughs> and that'll be interesting too, because that book is going to have grayscale and line art versions. So I think it'd be fun to do a grayscale page on the channel. I'm not too good at them yet. Um, I don't know if I've done one with just pencil, so that would be interesting. So it would kind of be an experiment for all of us. Um, aside from those that I already know grayscale because it wouldn't be an experiment for them, but they could watch me miserably fail or succeed. We'll see. <laughs> okay. 
There's a few other coloring books that have caught my eye, um, thanks to Kitty Cat and Color. This is Alexandra, I believe, is the owner behind that channel. Um, she's enabled me a little bit, so I don't know which books I'm going to get out of the ones that caught my eye from her channel because I put them on a wish list and sent that to Rain just for some Christmas ideas. Because as much as I love the man, he keeps trying to get me <laughs> things that I don't usually use. He got me like a, a slow cooker. not It's like a slow cooker and a pressure cooker and an Instapot all in one. But it's not an Instapot. I don't know exactly what it is. It's, it's still in the box though. I have a slow cooker and I like it. This one's like tiny and I don't think it would work well. I like making, when I use my slow cooker, I like making big meals and having some leftovers that way. I, cause I don't like cooking. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan. So if I'm going to cook, I'm going to have leftovers for the next day. So I don't have to cook. <laughs> so this way he can get me some stuff that I'm actually interested in. I've started reading a little bit more. Um, I did read a book called The Silent Patient that I think was recommended by uh, Life in Envelopes. She's a lady that I follow um, for budgeting. Such a good book. It was it was so amazing. I'm just going to darken up this area in here too, I think. It's actually like one of those books where I'm mad that I can't reread it again without knowing the outcome because it was that good. I could not, once I got to the climax of the book, I could not put it down. So I talked my mom into reading it. I haven't given it to her yet. I'm going to tomorrow when she picks me up to go to the city, but I think she's going to love it. But she also has like a very, um, like she knows what she likes to read out of the genres. She usually reads, I think usually like suspense or like kind of like those um, romantic crime novels. Um, she reads a lot of Lisa Jackson. I know she reads or read some V.C. Andrews. I don't know if she still does. Um, I know there's quite a few other ones in there that I'm just not thinking of. So this one is a little bit outside of what she likes. I feel like I personally, as long as the book is interesting, I can get into it. I can get into almost anything. So it'll be interesting to see if she enjoys it as much as I did. I've got a few other books that I want to kind of get into. A few I kind of got enabled by TikTok videos. So I can't remember. I think the one is It Ends With Us, which is weird because it's like a two-part book series. And the first one is It Ends With Us. And then the second one is It Starts With Us. And that just seems kind of backwards to me. So I'm curious to see how that goes. I only have the first book, so I'll need the second one after I start that. And then... I'm also starting, oh my gosh, this pencil sharpener. I think I need a new one. It's just eating all of my pencils. What is your problem? Throw you out the window, sir. Um, the Fallen series by, I think Laura Kate is her name. I know I read a couple of the books, or at least one of them, um, back in high school. So it's more of like, maybe like a teenage kind of, what do you call that? Like a young adult novel, ah, I guess. But I'm kind of childish in the fact that I still like a lot of those ones. So I do wanna, I want all the books and I want to actually read them because I do remember being really into it when I um, read the first book in school. So I've got the first two, I think, and then I have the rest on that wish list for Rain. So I'll have to just, also make note of the order they go in. So if he wants to get me one or two, it's gotta be in order. Cause if he gets me like the last one, <laughs> I'd be mad.
She's making weird noises in her sleep. You're so cute. Yeah. She's got a box that I have, like a, a puzzle that we never finished in um some like a juice jug. And then there's also like little paper holder things in the box as well. I'm curious if she likes them or if I should take them out of there. I don't know if it makes her more comfortable or like uncomfortable having them in there. So I'm like on the fence on what I should do. She like curls up into a little ball around them. She looks cozy. I don't know. I wish I could just ask her. <laughs> It'd be great to be able to talk to your animals. I would love that. I mean, she's she usually talks back. Anyways, I just don't know what she's saying. Right, Bill? Yeah. She's like, "Let me sleep, woman." So because there's such a large gap between recording part two, I don't know if I mentioned potentially live streaming in December in part one or part two, this part, in part one or this part. <laughs> um, if that does happen, though, it's probably going to be like a last minute thing, not like a planned thing for December. Um, I know I talked about hopefully doing like one or two live streams a month, I would probably have those planned out at least like a week in advance, if not two. Um, but for December, it'll probably be pretty last minute. I would probably try and let you guys know in the community tab. So if you are interested in joining live streams, just make sure that you either check the community tabs regularly or um, just make sure your notifications are on for the channel because then you'll be, as long as Facebook's, or Facebook, uh, as long as YouTube is doing its job, it should let you know if I go live, so. Mm, okay, I, I actually really like that. I'm glad that we decided to do this at the bottom. It's not too noticeable, but I think it would have been weird if it was snow. But just look okay. I was like, why did I color that? But it's pencil. I don't even think you guys could see that. Maybe you could, I don't know. Can't remember where our view is, but let's finish the snow. Start throwing in our lilac here. We'll finish the snow. I am not going to do stickles, but you guys can go ahead and do yours when you're done. Um, I will do the little white dots kind of all over the trees here because I have to write down the pencils and mediums that we used for this part. So by the time I get all of my paperwork, so to speak, done, um, it should be dry enough that I can just dive on into part three. Okay, lavender. It is still taking everything in me not to color the scarf part. 
it's it doesn't help that it almost like com perfectly it almost perfectly matches like the tree the snow in the tree especially this part here i think that's what kind of kept getting me Um, let's actually add a little bit of pink in here too. Okay, a light aqua, and then after that all we have is the spring green. So I try and keep that in mind when I'm putting on the light aqua that we only have one other color. And I, I do like the spring green, but I don't like having a whole lot of it in the snow, so I will usually mostly do light aqua in some of the larger spaces and leave the smaller spaces for the light green. Spring green is next. Make sure yours is cleaned off. And lastly, we'll go in with our white. Forgot about this little little part right there. Just gonna go in with the lilac on that part. All right, there's that done. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. Oh, that looks so pretty. I do think, I think I was at like half an hour the first time I recorded, around 20 minutes the second time. Because I had to stop because it kept getting blurry and assuming because I missed Lilo and now an hour this time. So I think this part's going to be closer to um, two hours, unfortunately. That's okay.
Okay, so any of these little gray dots that I can see that Hannah has drawn in here for snow, I'm gonna use my Uniball Signal White. You can use any kind of white gel pen that you like. I'm gonna use this one just to bring those back out. You can also add in your own, totally fine. Again, any that are in the snow, I'm not going to do. I will do that over top of the stickles later on. But yeah, you can definitely add your own little snowflakes in here as well if you'd like. I'm sure there's some, see I've got one right here that I almost missed. There's probably some, that it's kind of hard to see. So I'm just gonna color in whichever ones I do see. I think that's all of them on the green parts of the tree. I can tell if there's one right here or not. It kind of looks like there might be. Even if there's not, I'm gonna make one right there too. Okay, I like how that's looking. I think that is a lot of progress. That definitely filled up a lot of space. I'm not completely sure what we're gonna be coloring in the next part. We do still have this little bush down here that I would like to get finished. Um, so we'll definitely do that next part for sure. That's probably the only thing I am certain of. Um, yeah, at this point you can go ahead and put your stickles down, let them dry, um, then you can go in and, um, outline your snow with the white and put in your little snow dots if you'd like. Um, I will be probably doing the stickles in the next part, I think. Either way, I'll still be doing this stuff on camera too. It'll just be in a different part because I don't want to be... Um, working with wet stickles on the page because that's just an, a disaster <laughs> waiting to happen. I'm clumsy and I forget, so yeah, not happening. But I think this is a good, good place to leave it for part two. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Um, and I can't wait to see you in part three. So as always, take care and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, guys. Bye.